Hi, and hope you are doing well. I'm Jody, and this is Geeking with Jody, and we are going forward in our River Raid Rust implementation, a retro cool game in Terminal using Rust. Why Rust? Because we can. Because we are interested in learning Rust. Because we are interested in seeing how a new programming language works. Maybe because you are interested in having a super fast and future-proof River Raid game. Anyway, this project tries to show you how a new programming language works, tries to show you how a larger project works, how step-by-step step you can increase and add to your project and gradually create something larger, tries to show you how to work on GitHub, how to contribute code and these kind of stuff. In general, it's for your fun. So, where are we? Uh, we had, again, some pull requests. People opened some issues. Things like add player score. I will close this one because I want to do it myself. Because I want you to see how it's done. We have a readme from our friend. Uh, Panos, Ka Panos Kagias. Sorry if I pronounce it badly why this is closed ah because there was a issue anyway we can see the file changes he has some file changes a review of the client how it is worked let's approve this one in a real project or a larger project we have to check much much more rather than just doing okay i'll approve this but i trust my friend so now we have a new Readme. Readmes are good because you can see them from their fixed terminal misbehaving. We already had this. I missed this? Ah, maybe I missed this in one of their PRs. Cursor blah blah and at the end disable raw mode. Thank you. Call at a send. Sorry that I retrogated the same problem again. So now we have that one, but let's go and write some code ourselves. Add player score, I won't merge because I, I want to write this myself. Add the test cases, I will check this later. Uh, split project into different crates, nice idea, Titi. Abdullah, Abdullah Haq, Abdullah Haq or something. Sorry if I mispronounced the names. And bump entry added by Siavosh. We will check this later. Okay, in this video, no more pull requests, but the cool thing is now we have a nice readme. So, where are we? This is our code. It was running, cargo run. Ow, see what happened? We have this and we can die if we hit an enemy, but we can shoot enemies. Nice. In this section, ah, and we have the pause button. If I go with P, the game will be paused. P. In this section, what I want to do, I want to uh, add score here. Uh, and also add the fuel, 14. There will be some fuel stations here. We can shoot them and we will get higher scores or we can pass them and we will get higher fuels if my fuel is finished i will die so let's see but here i observed something on the start if my game is large this won't work correctly so this is bad and ugly I have to open a new issue for this. New issue. Uh, do not show ASCII art if screen is not large enough. Check for the screen size. And do not show the start or end ASCII art if the page is not large enough. Okay, this is nice. 
So, uh, let me open my code editor. Recently, I'm working sometimes with Zen. It's still, it's not production ready, in my opinion. But it's a cool project. I contribute code and it's fun. So, what we have here? Main RS. Okay, we had all of this. What I want to do is I want to start showing the score and the fuel. So on the word, I have two new variables, fuel, which is U16, and ah, let's call this gas. So later we can call the stations fuel. And score, which is U16. In my word, when I initialize the word, I will have the score as zero, and I have my fuel as a larger number, say, uh, 16,000. What happens? Ah, okay, it's not fuel, it's gas. I put a large number here because every time I do a uh, refresh screen, I want to reduce this number by one. So I don't go with five. I go with 16,000. Based on the tests, we can uh, fine tune this to something. That's why you have testers. Testers will play your game and say, okay, we need more fuel. We need more, for example, fuel station or whatever. When drawing the screen, I had this. Sometimes I think it's better to have a function for this, but it's only two lines. So let's do it. Go to two and two and write the uh, score this is the value score and then continue doing a q my command is move to move to two and three okay and q another command my command this time is print print uh fuel is some number which is my guess and it's done this is word Score and this is word guess. Let's check. Ow, ow. Uh, it says Q print expected one argument. You are giving it two arguments. Remove the extra argument. It's hint. Bad hint. Uh, I want to create a string from these two. So I will put these two in a uh, parenthesis. Oh, and we'll do a format function. So create a string based on this. Format args? No. Format. Same here. Put these into this and say, okay, format this data. And it formats this with this value. So it will become fuel, whatever my number is. It's also nice to have spaces here. So it's nicer. Ah, we have a score and we have the fuel, which is very nice. But they don't change, for sure, because I haven't commanded computer to change them. So, uh, where we have to change the score? Whenever I kill an enemy. Where enemy being killed? Enemy. Draw enemies. No. It was a function. Draw enemies, not here. Check enemy status. Here we are checking if enemy hits something. So what we need here is uh, when I hit an enemy with my arrow, it is a dead body and I get some score. Word score plus 10. Nice. And each time my physics run, here, I can say word Q 
gas minus plus one. Minus plus one, yes. I was thinking if it reaches zero or minus zero or whatever. Okay, my gas is going down. And I've got some scores. Okay. Ow! Anyway, good enough. Uh, the problem is on the end of the screen, I do not show that how much was my score. I just die. But no problem. Um, what can be done now? Okay, my gas is here. If my gas is finished, I have to die. So when checking player status here, it says, okay, if status hits something, player dies. Again, I can say if word gas is smaller is equals zero, player dies. Word status equals player status dead. I don't have this in mind. I just copy from here. Uh, when you start writing your program, you're writing everything. After a while, many, many, many aspects are kind of repeated. So now I'm repeating this one. More fun. Uh, first, let's try that if I die. Let's reduce this to something ridiculously low. Look at my fuel and I'm... I'm okay, well, Environment variable to display backtrace. Attempted to subtract with overflow. Line 331. I'll go to 331 here. 331. This is it. It's zero and I try to subtract one more. I can say if word gas is larger than or equal with one, reduce one. Not very beautiful, but it works. The problem is now my fuel finishes and I die. It doesn't say anything. This is ugly. Another issue to work on. A new issue. Show. Uh, Add description to the end screen. We have to inform the player why she is dead. Uh, description should be passed to the end screen. Something like describing the cause of death. Say, fuel finished, hit enemy, pressed player's choice, or whatever. Make it cute and fun. Okay. Uh, kind of easy task. Have a string somewhere, pass it. Configure it whenever you die and show it when the game is finished. Also, it's good to show the pause status. New issue. Pause when the game is paused. We should inform, show the player that the game is paused. Say box or something. Again, very easy. When it's paused, show this, otherwise show the word. So, now we have the fuel, fuel goes down, but the point is we are not generating any fuel. We have to create some fuel. You get my point, right? Just like this. Now I have the game. What? 
I did Q. The problem is Q is very, very close to W. No, I'm sure I didn't push Q this time. Maybe I did. Who knows? Ah, okay. We have a very, very, very little fuel. That's the silliness. It would be better to have this as a configuration somewhere as constants instead of trying to find them here. Okay. Now it's too much, I believe. Let's see. Anyway. Uh, now we have the enemies, although they are not appearing. I pause the game. Uh, enemy. What? Enemy. 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 I have to have some fuel. Fuel. And they work just like enemy. But when I hit the enemy, I die. In this case, when I hit the enemy, the fuel should increase. Even I can save it to shoot. When I shoot the enemy, enemy disappears and I get some points. If I shoot the fuel, I can get some points. Even more than enemy because I'm brave. And I'm liberating the world. So shooting fuels is what we do. Let's see. So we start from here. Wherever I have the enemy, I create the same thing with fuel. Fuel. It has a location and it has enemy status. Not beautiful, but okay. Because it's good to have the status and know how it works and it's easier to copy paste. Now we are doing lots of copy paste. Implement fuel. Fuel has an new which returns a fuel object. It's a fuel object and it has a location. I'm just repeating whatever I have for the enemy. This is this makes everything very easy, but it's super prone to creating bugs because always we will forget something, we won't change something, we won't replace something. Okay, I have fuel, which is a vector of fuel. And when initiating the word, I have the uh, fuel, which is a new and empty vector. Later, I have the draw somewhere. I draw enemies. Now I have to draw fuel. You can see how I'm copy pasting everything. And this is fuel. One way is saying that I want to replace all the enemies with the fuel and do it one by one. So I will just do in this part. Or I can configure to do only in the selection, but this is easy enough. Ah, see? Copy pasting is bad. I have to just change the uh, based on the uh, what is called case sensitive because I don't want to change these ones because this is a status. If this is alive, it is dead body. If it works or not. Nice. Now I want to any more. This is about drawing enemies. Now I have my fuels and I have this concept of dead and alive. I will show it as F, although it's very ugly because our uh, symbols are E, F, and P. All of them very, very similar to each other. And when I shoot a fuel and it dies, it becomes dollar because we are liberating the word for the fuel. So this is it. Now I have it. Check player status. Check enemy status. Instead of this, I will have a check. Uh, fuel status. This comes from our friends coding, Arvin Moravec. This is a convention and a way in Rust. Practically, if you create an automated documentation from this, you will have this function with this name because there are three slashes. This is used in many places. You can create automatic documentation or show the documentation of this function and these kind of stuff. So I will keep it. Check if fuel is hit. 
or moved over what we will do again i will search for all the enemies and we replace them with the fuel from here safe enough and i need some change in the logic if the player hits the fuel what we will do is gas add 1000 2000 to my gas if my uh, bullet hits the fuel we can give it even more because we are brave and we are hitting you Check enemy status, OK, update the map, Ch create enemy, I need to create fuel for sure, create fuel, maybe. We can have lots of fuels in the beginning because we want to try and see if it's working fine or not. From here I can say change every instance of enemy to the fuel change ouch what okay let's do manually fuel also fuel only this possibility okay we have to add a new fuel not the enemy so if this happens, which happens often, we are adding a new fuel, which is cool. And we have this create enemy now, move enemies, we need move fuel, uh, move fuels on the river, it's called fuel. We go through all of them and move them. This is a little bit bad design what I'm doing because practically we had this map which showed only the river. Okay, this was map. Then we have a struct for the enemy which shows the locations of the enemies now we have fuel we chose the location of fuels and each time we are scrolling all of these on our board maybe it was better to have these in the map and say okay my map starts here finishes here and has these enemies and these fuels might be better then i only need to scroll once or even use that double ended cues not to even do a general scroll but anyway now I'm moving my fuel, it's not called anywhere, okay, acceptable, moving bu uh, bullets, welcome, goodbye. On the physics, when I have move enemies, I can, out, I can say move fuel. When I have create enemies, I can say create fuel. All this copy paste should be tested. Check fuel. Something was not defined. Let me see. Ow! Lots of fuels. I'm not getting scores for hitting fuels. What was the problem? One function is not called. I'm not sure where it is. Should be here. Check fuel status. Okay, this is not called. That's why I'm not, not getting points for fuels. I said from this yellow thing here. So, check enemy status. I should have a same check fuel status. I also have one white here. Animation is not used. Maybe later. Who knows? Okay, my score is zero. As soon as I hit this, my score is still zero. Okay. Okay. Check fuel status. If bullet. Ah, okay. Bullet should change, not the score. So. Okay, I got lots of 
score. It's very difficult to try, to test even. We have too many uh, fuels. Let's see if fuel is being added. Okay, 15,000, 17,000. It's being added. Nice. So, uh, that score is ugly, as you can see. This is ugly. I can omit three zeros. That would be more fun. And I believe we have to make it even less because it's too much. Let me see. We start with 16,000. Let's start with uh, 1,700. Then, when I have gas plus, here I'm adding 2,000. Okay. And when showing it, uh, when I say fuel equal, let's divide this to 100 to make it a little bit nicer. You don't want to watch your car and the fuel goes down all the time. Ah, okay, now this is nice. If Okay, now it's 15. I'm getting all the scores, but we have too many fuels. Ah, uh, 6. This was it. I can say Go up to 100 and in 95 percent. Very, very, very oh, little. Even we can talk about the. Now we had one fuel. I missed it. Ah! Okay, it's good game. No, we have too many fuels. Ah, nice. Ah, what is the fuel? It's 74. I have too many fuels. Okay. I shouldn't have this much fuel. Okay, we have to fine tune this later. If someone plays the game enough, please comment. Create an issue for fine tuning the fuel. I will create the issue. Please comment on that one. Game should be enjoyable. We don't want a super hard, super difficult, and the problem is we cannot compete in this game that much because it's based on random. Now it's very easy. Okay, my fuel is 14. Hmm. I want to see if I get enough fuels. Okay, it's good enough. Ah! Okay, I'm not f faster than the river. Maybe I should be faster than the river. I fueled. It's 32. It's too much. Okay. We will go with this and create an issue to... Fine-tune the fuel. Play the game. And have ideas about the uh, fuel start and fuel addition values please comment uh, do not change in the code just comment if, if we agree on some number you can then send a PR for that one otherwise different people will send different numbers so I believe now it's good enough. We have our game, we have our scores, we have our fuels and everything works fine. Good enough, right? Later we can have saving the... Okay, good enough. I liked it and I enjoyed it. Uh, for the next time, we will add some graphics and color.
note please do not do this one i will do it on screen yes. okay uh nothing else i believe we are in a good place let's check what we have here git status git add source main uh added uh, i was thinking about a good method is committing based on the issues some people say in our project every single commit should be related to one issue so we can say closes blah 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 anyway git add git now we have this git commit dash m adding fuel and score git push ah we haven't pulled i think yes there are some changes which are different than ours nice git pull because we accepted some prs uh, every time it's good before working on your project doing a git pull now it's pulled and successfully rebased so it's run runs because there were no conflicts ah, it's nice and it converts to a nice dollar ow see our bullets or missile or whatever they are past the river borders they shouldn't i exit new issue bullets should die when hitting river borders because we are boats and if our if we are on the same surface with the borders and everything so when our bullet hits the border it dies we are not an airplane so let's do it that's it so we have lots of issues which is nice and i will do a git push thanks for being with us it was joyful next time we will go for the colors and some graphics have fun and tell your friends if you enjoyed this series. I would be very, very glad to have some followers in English. I mean international. Have fun.